Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now and deposit $100 and receive two free shares valued up to $1,400. It's free money, so why not try it out? In this video, we're going to talk about Apple's 4 to 1 split and Tesla 5 to 1 split. Exactly what does it mean and what does it do for these companies in the future? But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. So okay, upcoming Monday, Apple and Tesla is going to display their 4 to 1 and 5 to 1 splits. Apple is going to split their shares 4 to 1. That means every one share that you have of Apple, you will be receiving 4 shares of Apple, but the price of Apple is going to be divided by 4. So if Apple was at $400 on Monday, Apple theoretically will be at $100 since that price get cut in half by 4. Tesla is going to have a five to one split on this upcoming Monday. Two big major tech companies is going to have a split and that is great news. Theoretically, a split does not change the value of a company just because you have more shares it's actually valued at a cheaper price so it doesn't change the value of a company. Now historically speaking, this is this is my first uh split since i've been investing if you guys been following this channel for a while this is my first time in the split so we're gonna run this experiment together and learn from our first split if this is your first split as well go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section but historically speaking when a stock split it outperforms the s p 500 by eight percent the first two years so a stock split is actually a pretty good thing it doesn't change the value of the company at all when they split but many investors when they're looking at apple and it's 500 dollars a lot of small investors really can't afford a 500 dollars share of apple but when they split their stock by four and the price is around 125 dollars they can buy one or two shares worth of apple tesla's up in the two thousand dollars many people if the if you didn't get in early on tesla i own a share of tesla if you did get in early tesla would cost you around two thousand dollars right now but when they have this five to one split you're gonna be like wow okay let me go on ahead and grab a share to a, a tesla while the price is low before it goes back up so that's why uh, companies have a split for a lot of small investors can buy into that company if if there are a lot of people out there like me that don't have two thousand dollars to throw out to buy a share of tesla then now would be a great time to pick up at least one share of tesla and at least one share of apple if you can on this upcoming monday if we take a look at this chart right here that i'm going to pull up on the screen you guys can still see that yes um ever since 1990 when stock splits they outperform their counterparts they outperform the s p 500 so stock splits are a good thing so i'm going to pull up my Robinhood account right quick but i'm letting you guys know on monday when apple splits and when tesla splits i'm going to throw all the money that i have left in my Robinhood account into these two companies and buy up as many shares that i possibly can that's what I'm gonna do. You don't have to do that. You, you can sell Apple, you can sell Tesla if you want to. But me personally, I'm gonna try to pick up a couple more shares while the price is affordable for me. But let's go ahead and dive into my Robinhood account to see what will the price be on this upcoming Monday. All right, guys, here we are on my Robinhood account. My account is at $27,000. Wow, I never imagined that it would be that high. Over the past week, I'm up 2.75%. I'm up $723 and 44 cents so i had a pretty solid week when it comes to investing into the stock market um let's open up this free stock if you guys want a free stock of robin hood all you have to do is click the link down in the description just sign up and then you'll get a free stock of robin hood just for signing up let's click the one in the middle i got ddd 3d systems that is worth five dollars and 41 cents thank you all right so let's go ahead and pull up tesla right quick all right, so Tesla, I own a little bit over one share of Tesla. I did buy a fractional share of Tesla, but let's just say I own one share of Tesla. Tesla is at $2,217. I got in at $638.07, and I have a profit of over 247%. So I got very, very lucky by getting in on Tesla early. I'm up $1,683.93. Now remember, Tesla is having a five to one split. So let's see 
what would the price be of Tesla on Monday at its current price right now of $2,217. So $2,217 divided by five. So if everything plays out how we think it's gonna play out, Tesla is gonna be at $443.40 on Monday. So that's even cheaper than the price I bought Tesla at $600 at. So I would definitely try to pick up a share of Tesla while the price is at $443.40. Let's go ahead and take a look at Apple and see where would that price be on Monday. Okay, here we are on Apple. Apple is at $502. It's crazy how both these companies are pretty much at an even dollar number. But um, Apple is at $502. I own almost half a share of Apple, 0.46% of a full Apple share. So I wasn't able to buy a full share of Apple. Like I said, Apple is getting very expensive and I got in at $347. I'm up 44% on Apple, up $41.38. So let's see what would be the price of Apple on Monday with a four to one split of $502. So 502 divided by four. So Apple on Monday should be around $125.50. So I'm definitely gonna grab a couple of shares of Apple while I can. So yeah, guys, um, that is my plan for the weekend. I'm gonna pick up Apple, I'm gonna pick up Tesla. And I expect that these two companies are going to gain a couple of percent this week alone coming up on Monday when they have their split. Let me know what you guys are gonna do down in the comment section. Me personally, since both of these stocks are gonna be down below the price that I initially bought into these companies, I see them at a pretty good value. I can see that these companies are going to continue to grow. In fact, this is not Apple's first split. They have split back in the past before and they continue to grow and raise that company value every single year. And I can see Tesla doing the exact same thing. Hopefully Tesla's not in the bubble. But anyways, let me know what you're gonna do down in the comment section. While you're down there, make sure that you hit the thumbs up on this video. Hitting the thumbs up really helps out this channel a lot, more than you can even imagine. And while you're down there hitting buttons, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.